everyone welcome back to my channel so this week's tutorial is actually quite an exciting one so we're going to be learning how to do that swatch right here now I have introduced a new yarn which is this lovely soft boot clay it is beautiful um, a little bit thick machine but it still knits okay um, we've combined it with a bit of lurex which is quite fine and the moisturized cotton so in regards to the techniques, we are combining a bit of your transfer work and a bit of tuck, elongated stitch and cables. So actually it's quite a lot, but once you get the hang of the rupee, it should be okay. Okay, so I've casted on a few needles and knitted a few rows on tension seven in a one in one layout okay so one working one not working one working and one not working now i'm going to go ahead and grab a transfer tool and do a transfer on every other needle so i'm transferring out every other needle which will leave me with a layout of one working and three not working okay so push all the working needles forward and three empty needles all the way to the back and just go ahead and knit a couple of rows, okay? So my tension is five, knit two, and I'm gonna go ahead and change my yarn to the boot clay. So that's the boot clay that I'll be using. Now, because it's quite thick, like I mentioned, my tension is going to be on 10. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and push the center needle of those empty needles forward okay the center needle of the empty three forward comes onto hold position which is number one on your silver reed on the left hand and right hand side on your brother it will be from N to H go ahead and knit two rows and now I'm going to change my yarn to the lurex which is this beautiful fine yarn it is very delicate so I'll be a little bit careful knitting with it okay my tension goes down to five because it's quite fine I'm going to go ahead and push all of my needles forward into a working position and knit. Oops, sorry move it comes to two obviously from the, so it knits um so on your brother it'll go back to n and knit two rows okay and now I'm going to go ahead and push all of my needles forward to do the elongated stitch. Okay, so all of these needle get, needles get pushed slightly over to the back where the stitch is laid just beyond the latch. And now I'm going to lay my cotton yarn over to do the stitch and pull it all the way to the back one stitch at a time to create a longer stitch. Now I do have a tutorial on this stitch so please do go ahead and watch it if you're unsure. It's quite simple. Okay, once you've done that, wear your knit down, grab two sets of two prong transfer tools, And do a cable transfer okay so the one that we're going to be working on is over a set of six okay so I'm going to take the edge two needles leave the two in the center and take the next two okay so you're taking one and two and then five and six and transferring them over so you're just basically swapping the stitches over leaving the center two untouched just got to repeat that through so leaving the center two of the sets of six untouched and swapping the first and second and the fifth and sixth over. Okay, once you've done so, go ahead and knit two rows in the lurex, right. I'm gonna go ahead and change my yarn to the cotton and start with the needle transfer, okay. So leaving two untouched 
and transferring. So I'm leaving two untouched and transferring the one, two, three, the fourth needle to my right. Then leaving the, the four untouched and transferring the one over. Then leaving four untouched and transferring one over and just continue doing so. Okay. So Four working, one not working, four working, one not working. I'm going to go ahead and knit one row. Now I'm going to go ahead and transfer the third needle out and the fifth needle out. Okay, so now the layout's going to be two working and three not working. So now we're going back into the repeat, basically, what we started off in the bottom. So two working and three not working. All the non-working needles get pushed to the back of the bed. Knit one, okay? Change your yarn back to the weekly. Tension 10. Push your center needle of the empty needles uh, to Front. So push it all the way forward, hands go on hold position, and go ahead and knit two rows. Change your yarn to the Lurex, tension goes back to five, hands on to normal knitting, push all of your needles forward into working position, and knit two rows. So push your needles forward. I'm going to continue with the elongated stitch. Put your yarn over. And pull each stitch to the back of the bed. Wave the knit down, pull the stitches down, and go ahead and do your cable transfer. You can change the layout of the transfer if you like, it doesn't have to be what I'm doing. So transferring two and two over, leaving the centre two needles untouched in sets of six. Transferring every fifth needle to my right. So I've got three working, one not working, four working, one not working, four working, one not working. Go ahead and make one and then transfer the third and the fifth out. So you're left with two working and three not working. Knit one. And then you go back into the boot play with your tuck stitch, lurex, elongated stitch, lurex, transfer work and repeat. Okay, so I'm just going to go through that again, the repeat pattern. So you start with a one and one layout, 
go ahead and do your transfer work, which leaves you with two working, three not working, two working, three not working. Go ahead and do your tuck stitch with the boot clay, knit with a lurex, do your elongated stitch, knit with a lurex, do your transfer work and repeat. Now, I really hope that was clear. Um, I do think it's a little bit complicated to get, get around, but once you get the hang of it, I would suggest making notes of the, the steps and then you will start to get the repeat pattern and then you can go ahead and make the changes you'd like to make to make it your own. Now, do try and use different yarns, like I said, to see what you get. And it's just, I think it's just so, so beautiful, especially that elongated stitch in that yarn with the cable transfer. It looks quite different and you can't, you almost can't tell what stitch it is combined with the fluffy of the lyrics. It's all a great contrast. I hope you enjoyed that technique and the demonstration. Um, again, if you've got any questions, please do leave it in the comments below. Um, do check out my other tutorials and subscribe to my channel. I will have um, more patterns coming, of course, um, every Friday. So do keep an eye out and follow me on Instagram. I hope to see you next week. Bye.